Hello everyone, how is it going? We will start using our node base. Now one thing I noticed is that most of the time I have a property on each node and that is a node value and that is a float. So when you have that, the base is a very good place to put it inside. Then you don't need typecastings. That's that. Now, let us start by adding our nodes and nodes including project and it has nothing there oh math yeah here so the very first node that I want to add is a float node okay and that the float node of course inherits from node base now it has a constructor and in constructor, we say outputs dot add new output node. By doing it, I added an output to this node. Okay. Then we want public override. The override that we want to do is initialize. And by default, it calls the uh, base dot initialize. That cool. That's cool. Then we say node type equals to the float node. After that, we say node value equals to zero. And then we say node rect equals to new rect of size 10, 10, 150, and 35. Okay? Now, I want another override. So public, sorry, sorry, what did I do? No, cancel. If I know, what did I use there? <laughs> uh, so public override, and we want update node that asks for an event, and remove that. And public override update node GUI. And again, it added that. Okay. Anything else there? Yeah. Public override. And that is draw node properties. Okay, so actually I don't use this for the GUI, we will take a look. For the properties, however, after drawing the node properties, we say node value equals to editor GUI layout dot float field and we call it float value and the node value okay and of course because we are using stuff so if unity editor and and if that's that and believe it or not we have our float node so the more you go forward the less you type. Now our next node is our add node. So add node. And I totally forgot to rename this guy to float node. Yeah. So I can copy paste it from here inside here because it is inheriting from base node base and it's add node so and yeah beside our output you have two inputs so we say inputs 
dot add new input node that's one input and then another input for initialize its type is add and it's zero and it's the same rect now update node GUI We have nothing to do here but use the update node event without direct so we call the base after that not GUI update node after that we say node value equals to zero we reset the value then we say for each inside inputs var input we say if input dot parent node does not equal to null so if the input has a parent node we say node value plus equals to uh, here is the typecast that I'm using but now I don't need it so we say input dot parent node dot node value that is the reason I put the node value inside the base node okay so our base node has this guy and we don't need to typecast it otherwise uh, no not here Control X here else we say node value equals to zero and that's our process uh, our update node okay now in draw node properties we only want a label so editor GUI layout dot label field the field is sum plus our node value no value okay so this method uh, oh look at here okay this method will be called uh, draw properties node then we go for our property view uh, and we finish it so right now we have two nodes can you believe it a float node and an add node they do nothing but if you look at update node we say okay for each input and if you recall node input has a connection to the output and parent node so we say if that input has a parent node get the node value from that parent add it to our value otherwise if uh, wait oh wow look at here okay I need to say if inputs dot any any do the whole loop and I was wondering why did I do wrong else set the value to zero okay so if we don't have any inputs set the value to zero otherwise if it has input sum it up again for me and you may say why you are adding it here because if we have inputs and we don't reset it it will work as a timer and it will go up 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 okay so we have two nodes if you want a minus node for example you just make it minus so it will be node value equal to uh, input 0 minus input 1 okay and uh, for example multiplier is input 1 multiplied input 2 division input 0 divided by input 1 etc 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 so all the behavior of the node sits inside update node what about the update GUI well if you want to show stuff inside the node editors GUI yes you can use it here 
okay but trust me uh, it's better to keep your nodes as simple as possible but if you want to you can add for example uh, uh, this guy here okay and it will work let's keep it there just for, a, a, for an example so we have our nodes now let's go back to our node base or actually our tools window because we have to add these two now in tools bar when we are creating this guy we will call node utilities dot create node and it asks for graph so we send in the current graph the node type is this is the float so the float then we want a position and I go with vector to 30 by 30 just to make things easier and control C uh, and control V the only thing we change here is the add node okay save so node utilities now we want to stop in this guy so create node we say if the uh, graph is equals to null return we have nothing to do then we say node base we call it current node equals to null then we want to switch based on node type and case the float break and home shift tab thank you and case add break and our default and break because we have nothing to do with default break okay after the switch node we say if the current node does not equal to null we have jobs to do with that we call its initialize and then we call current node dot node direct dot x equals to the position that we sent in dot x same thing for y and the code is great because right now I didn't uh, assign anything to the node and it's by default in initialized as null so this will never happen but we will change it very soon so current node dot parent graph equals to the graph we sent in then we say current node dot nodes uh, no sorry the graph sorry the graph dot nodes dot add current node so we add it to the graph then we say asset database dot add object to asset the add the object we want is current node the asset is graph then we say asset database dot save assets and asset database dot refresh now if you recall I had a line to hide the uh, where was that the flags was it in here, in here somewhere or it was in node base yeah here hide flags let's comment it for a few minutes so we have done that now based on the switch we say current node equals to scriptable object dot instance uh, create instance of float node then we say current node dot 
uh, name equals to float node and current node dot name with lower n because it's uh, for unity engine object equals to our float node okay and this guy will be float copy paste and the only things we need to change is this is add node this is the add and this is add node okay and we have our creation let's see if it will work okay so we load our graph we have no graph we create it come on we call it test graph and create and we add a float node so we don't see it yet but look at here we have a float node it has a node value if I find yeah and we create an add node it has a node value the float node inputs is zero output is only one element the add node has two inputs and one output and they are all serialized properly because if I hit play and if I stop these guys won't change okay for example if I change it by now for example 1.1 if I stop it's there okay so uh, it was a short episode oh wait if I hide these guys if I want to hide these guys it's only this flag hide flag so save come back and suddenly uh, if I delete the graph if I create that graph again yeah why not okay if I add a float node the node is there but it's not being shown anymore and the plus node and it's not being shown again so delete it that was the job of that height flag hiding hierarchy okay in next episode we will start seeing how we can show these nodes inside our work view so let's uh, close all but this in next episode we will dive into our where is that views work view here because we now want to show those graphs okay and that would be the next episode for you guys as I said this episode was a bit short but I think now you had seen how you can easily add more nodes so feel free to add for example a minus a multiplier and a division just in division node be careful that to check if the uh, input one is zero because else you will get division by zero error uh, that's an exercise well let's see current graph does not equal now well it's easy current graph dot update graph GUI with the event and we wrecked and we are done with this node but we won't see anything because if you see in node graph yes thank you update graph GUI is calling each node's update node GUI and yes our nodes update graph GUI will only call the base the node base update graph GUI has nothing so this will be uh, the uh, next to do to do implement node drawing for work view this is where 
we implement all the node bases okay in next episode until then have fun everyone bye bye